Thinking about how our liver keeps us alive and healthy is amazing. This powerhouse is the biggest organ inside our bodies. Not only does it help clean our blood and digest the food we eat, but it also plays an important role in how our bodies break down the medications we take. But here's the problem. Some medications, despite their intended benefits, can actually damage our liver. Now, you may be asking, how can drugs damage the liver? Well, some medications can cause a body reaction in the liver, which can damage your liver. And this can happen for a number of reasons, such as the chemical properties of the medication, the dose, and how long you have been taking the medication. So in this video, I will share with you some common medications that most people take daily that can damage your liver. And I will also provide valuable tips on how you can protect this important organ. So keep watching. Jedosa the farm D here. Welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Now, first up on the list is Talno, also known as acetaminophen or paracetamol in many countries. Tylenol is a widely used medication that helps relieve pain and reduce fever. But here is something you need to know. If you take too much Tylenol or use it for a long time, it can overload your liver and cause damage. And believe it or not, even a single large dose of Tylenol can cause liver damage. So to keep your liver healthy and happy, follow these golden rules. Do not take more than 4,000 mg per day for an adult and avoid alcohol if you are taking Tylenol. And sometimes people accidentally take too much Tylenol because they do not realize it present in multiple medications they are using at the same time. For example, Tylenol is often found in many cold and flu medications. So it is essential to check the labels for acetaminophen content to avoid accidentally taking too much. Remember, the goal is not to completely avoid Tylenol, but to use it responsibly and cautiously. Following the recommended dose and being aware of the potential risk can help protect your liver. Number 2. NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Many of us use NSAIDs like ibuprofen, diclofenac, and naproxen to get quick relief from pain and inflammation. These medications can be a real game changer when it comes to feeling better. However, it is important to know about possible risk. NSAIDs can put some extra stress on your liver. Let me explain. You see, when you take NSAIDs, they can travel through your bloodstream and eventually make their way to the liver for processing. And most of the time, the liver does a great job of breaking down these drugs without any problems. However, NSAIDs can cause problems when they are used too much or for too long. Now, the risk of liver damage from NSAIDs is quite rare. But the problem is, most people use these medications too much. Taking high doses or using NSAIDs for a long time can increase the risk of liver damage. In particular, diclofenac and naproxen have a higher chance of causing liver damage compared to other NSAIDs. But here is some good news. If you are using topical diclofenac, like gels, creams or patches, the risk of liver damage is much lower. And here's a bonus tip. NSAIDs are also known to cause kidney damage. Number 3. Statins. So if you are taking statins like atovastatin, rosuvastatin and simvastatin for high cholesterol, you may have heard that these medications can cause your liver enzymes to go up. Now, let us get one thing straight. When we talk about liver enzymes going up, 
we are talking about little messengers that tell us if there is inflammation or damage in your liver. But there is no need to panic because most people taking statins may not experience liver problems. However, it is always good to be cautious and informed about your health. So why should you be cautious about the risk of liver damage if you are taking statins? Well, studies have shown that higher doses of statin medications may have a higher chance of affecting your liver. And that is why it is not recommended to take statins if you have liver disease or if your blood tests indicate that your liver is not working properly. Number 4. Allopurinol. This is a medication mainly used to treat conditions like gout and kidney stones by reducing the production of uric acid in the body. Now, most people who take allopurinol do not experience any problems. But there is something you need to be aware of. In some cases, it can affect the normal function of your liver and cause liver injury. In fact, studies have shown that about 2-6% to of people who take allopurinol have been reported to experience elevated liver enzymes, which is a signal that the liver may not be functioning at its best. But here is the good news. If a liver injury does happen, it can be reversed simply by stopping the medication. That means your liver can heal and recover once your doctor discontinues the use of allopurinol. So what can you do to keep your liver safe while taking allopurinol? Well, here is the answer. Your liver function needs to be monitored regularly. Number 5 methotrexate. Now, this powerful medication is often used to treat conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and certain types of cancer. Methotrexate can be a valuable treatment option that significantly improves the quality of life. But here is the thing. Liver damage is one of the well-known unwanted side effects of methotrexate. This means that there is a possibility that methotrexate may affect the normal functioning of your liver. I know that may sound a little bit scary, right? But this does not mean that methotrexate is completely unsafe for everyone. It simply means that your liver function needs to be closely monitored to ensure the drug is safe and effective for you. And with this knowledge in mind, it is also important to be aware of the signs and symptoms that may indicate liver damage. So look out for things like dark urine, stomach pain, feeling very weak and tired, loss of appetite, and your eyes or skin turning yellow. These could be indications that your liver needs help. And also keep in mind, these are not all the medications that can affect your liver. In addition to the ones already mentioned, it is worth noting that there are some other medications that can cause liver damage. For instance, argumentin, a commonly used antibiotic, and seizure medications like phenytoin. And there you have it. Remember, knowledge is the key that unlocks the doors to a healthier and happier you. Thanks for watching.